All right, guys. So I have a very interesting watch from a brand I've been following pretty well since they came out in 2018. The brand is Norcane out of BLBN Switzerland. And these guys are not messing around with their watches. The model we're looking at today is a very niche release and is going to appeal mostly to people that are both into ice hockey as well as watches. And I happen to be the perfect demographic for them as I'm a huge hockey fan. I grew up playing hockey and I actually still play from time to time as a goaltender, although not as much this year. The contact sports have been kind of shut down. Busted out some of my equipment and anybody that's into hockey, any hockey guys out there knows now that the studio has a certain odor about it thanks to uh, the gloves there, but... Also, huge Leafs fan, and the Leafs, I think, are number one in the league as of today, so excited about that. But before we get to the watch, I just want to thank the folks over at Norcane. They've been really great to deal with. The watch has been a whole lot of fun to wear so far, so let's get right to it and take a look at the watch. Now, I already sort of touched on this, but this watch isn't going to appeal to the masses with the whole hockey theme. I would highly suggest, though, checking their site. They've got some really nice watches there. Couple of things about the brand. If you're new to Norcane, they're doing some very cool things. This particular watch doesn't have one, but they've partnered with movement manufacturer Kinesi to build two chronometer certified movements exclusive to the Norcane brand. There's a three-hander and a GMT. Norcane was founded in 2018 and the people running the company have some serious pedigree in the watch world. One of the three founders, Ted Schneider, is actually part of the family that owned Breitling for over 40 years. Another of the three founders is Swiss-born Mark Streit. He's an ex-NHL player and Stanley Cup champion with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So Mark is the connection with the NHL Players Association and I'm sure played a huge part with how we ended up with this particular limited edition model. The watch is from Norcane's Adventure Sport Chrono line. It's limited to 500 pieces and has lots of little nods to hockey in general and the NHLPA. The white dial is textured to resemble a skated on ice surface. This takes 30 steps to achieve that look. I'll fire up the chronograph and walk you through what's happening on the dial. The watch runs on the Norcane Caliber NN18, which is based on the Edis 7753. Over at the 3 o'clock is the minute counter for the chronograph. Nice little pop of red against the blue subdial. At 6 is the hour counter up to 12 hours. We have the same red hand and the logo for the NHLPA in white. The white 3 o'clock subdial shows the running seconds with the face-off circle. The color combination looks good. Definitely a sporty vibe with the red, white, and blue. Up at the 12 is Norcane printed with the company logo just above that. The date window is over at the 430. Norcane actually color matches all their date wheels. And maybe not so noticeable on a white dialed watch, but their different color dials all have matching date discs. The date with these 7753s is adjusted with this little pusher here on the side of the case. And they also supply a small little branded tool to do that. The hour markers are applied. They and the hands are finished to a nice high polish and have an application of C1 Superluminova. Not blazing bright and the markers are a little weaker than the hands, but it's definitely usable for low light time telling. The bezel is a 60 click unidirectional bezel. It's got a very grippy edge, so no problem getting a hold of this one. The action is solid and feels precise in hand. Now, Norcane mostly uses ceramic inserts in their watches, the watches that have bezels, that is, but 
They've gone with aluminum on this one, and I think it's a design choice. It does look really good on the watch. I really like the look of aluminum inserts, but the trade-off is they aren't scratch resistant like a ceramic one would be. The watch comes out on this blue rubber strap. If you've ever tried an isoframe strap, this is a very comparable material. It is thinner than isoframe straps though, so a little more pliable. The hardware, the buckle here is brushed and polished on the edges, signed with Norcane. It's comfortable on wrist and a nice look for the watch. And there's also a bracelet option at an additional cost. The case is well finished. It's mostly finished with a fine brushwork, but with some touches of polishing to break up the brushed finishes. The screwed on plate here on the side is polished and engraved with Norcane. There's an option as well to have that customized if you want. The crown is a screw down crown signed with the company logo. Now the pushers look to be screwed down, but those knurled grips are just for looks. The case back is a display case back. The crystal is sapphire and you can see here it is painted with the metallic NHLPA logo and numbered. We have number one of 500 here. You get a decent view of the movement, which is a beautiful movement, although it is obstructed by that logo. Size on this watch is 41 millimeters in case diameter. The plate on the side adds to that a bit, but it feels like a 41 millimeter watch. Lug to lug, I'm getting 48.8 millimeters. The height is 15.2 millimeters and the lug opening is 20 millimeters. Water resist is 100 meters and the crystal is sapphire with an anti-reflective treatment. Before I forget, the chronograph has been running here for a little while, so let's stop and reset. And nothing beats that snapback of a mechanical chronograph. This movement, the 7753, is a cam-operated 27-joule movement. It's got a power reserve of about 48 hours and beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. So I've had this in a few days now and I've really enjoyed wearing it. I'm not normally into themed watches like this, but I think this one looks awesome. Now, Norcane is in what a lot of people would call entry level luxury territory. Their prices reflect that, but so does the design and build quality, at least from the experience I have with this watch so far. Prices range on their watches, but this one retails at $3,290 US dollars. Now, they're still relatively new to the watch world, but I have a feeling with some of the partnerships they have with groups like the NHLPA and not to mention some heavy hitter watch boutiques you can find these in. I think it's just a matter of time before they really catch on. Again, this model is very niche, and I think a lot of buyers are going to be probably either huge hockey slash watch fans or maybe even actual NHL players. But check out their lineup, and hopefully at some point I can get in some other pieces to show you guys. I'll leave a link to where you can find their site below. So any questions on the watch, reach out anytime in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks to Norcane for lending in the watch. Thanks to you guys for stopping by today and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Can everybody hear me okay? How am I sounding? Now my head stinks.